I took a COVID test today. Welcome to Messy Suitcase. Today we're going to talk about traveling in the time of COVID. I was awake in the middle of the night with a dry cough and my throat just felt a little off. Now yesterday I forgot to take my Zyrtec for allergies, so I figured that's what it was. But still, when you have a dry cough in the time of COVID, you gotta worry that it might be COVID. So I left my bed in the middle of the night, took some allergy medicine way overdue, and stayed on the couch a while till the cough um, died down. Then in the morning I got a text from Eric, our oldest kid, who's living in England. And Eric is in the middle of a trip to visit one of their best friends, an immunocompromised best friend, and they're traveling on two trains with a connection in between. And Eric was worried that they might get COVID on the train ride. Um, and while I assured them that trains in England are safe, they were very worried about the fact that somebody was coughing on the train, and they have anxiety about COVID anyway. I mean, who doesn't, but for some people it's harder than for others. So when they arrived there, they took a COVID test before they took their mask off to make sure they were safe to be with their friend Boo. Well, that got me thinking, with my coughing, I should probably make sure I'm safe for my husband and for all the Puerto Ricans around me. So after breakfast, Bob and I went to Walmart and got ourselves a COVID test. And this is the one we picked up. Now in England, Eric has an unlimited supply of COVID tests for free from the National Health Service, the NHS. But for us, we bought this at Walmart. Now you can spend a lot of money on COVID tests in the United States, which is ridiculous. But this Binax Now COVID test, which comes back in 15 minutes was, what was it, $17.99 I think, or something for like that. For two tests. For two tests. So I decided to take this. It's the COVID-19 antigen self-test for infection detection. So we got home and I took that test. Interestingly, on the way home, before I took the test, we passed what looked like a big festival in the main square of Lucio, and we stopped and took a look and discovered it was a, it was a health fair. It was for um, prevention of cancer and COVID-19. They had a loud band on a stage and a woman doing aerobics from the stage and all these people participating in kids activities and vaccinations, free vaccinations under a big tent. They turned it into a party atmosphere and Puerto Ricans were coming out from all over Luquillo to enjoy and to get their vaccinations. So anyway, I got home and took my Binax Now test and I'm happy to report negative, negativo. And that means today there's a pretty good chance I don't have COVID. And I spent $9, $9.50 to find that out. But you know, one of the reasons that we decided to start our Messy Suitcase Travels Again Living in Puerto Rico is because Puerto Rico is on top of COVID. Now this is a country that was really, really devastated by Hurricane Maria and they just, they can't afford to have their hospitals and health facilities um, overwhelmed by COVID and so the government got right on top of it and they have one of the highest actually they have the highest rate in the United States when it comes to COVID vaccinations and that includes kids so kids and adults they have a very high double vaccination rate and they are they are so vigilant about masking it's almost ridiculous and about everything well let's backtrack to before we arrived in Puerto Rico we did choose Puerto Rico because of the low COVID rate, but as we were coming here, our experiences showed us why they have such a low COVID rate. Flying here on Southwest Airlines, we had to um, provide evidence that we were double vaccinated and you know, two weeks after that double vaccinated, we had to sign an attestation online and we had to have access to it so that when we got to the airport, we could prove that we had been double vaccinated. And we almost weren't allowed to get on our plane because we had a flight, um, 
flight attendant or uh, just an attendant. Well, it was, it was the, uh, the person at the, uh, the ticket counter. Yeah, the person at the ticket counter told us that we had to show a negative COVID test within 72 hours of our departure. And that was not true. We had done the research. And she gave us the wrong information, but we were able to dig out these negative COVID tests and attestations, and then she let us go on the plane. But there was about uh, 20 minutes of uh, sheer panic there. Yeah, we were afraid we weren't going to make it. And uh, when we got on the plane, everyone had to be masked on the plane. And I wore a KN95 mask, and I know Bob wore a mask with a filter. We made sure that we chose seats in the back of the plane by the window so that we were as far away from other people as possible. Bob did research about the filtration system, so we felt very safe on the plane. And everyone wore masks on the plane, which was wonderful. And then we arrived in Puerto Rico, and we couldn't leave the airport until we had our temperatures taken, and again showed the evidence that we had had our two vaccinations. And, and, and to attest to the, the seriousness of uh, this, you know, the, uh, the the guys who were checking our 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 our, our, our vaccinations were all doled out in uh, you know big old white suits. Still. Yeah, I mean, they looked like the movie E.T. when they didn't want to be exposed at all to the alien creature. They were totally covered yeah. with, uh, I mean, they looked like spacesuits, yeah, but they I mean, were wearing face masks and also, uh, like, these head shields, face shields and everything. It's, it's October 2021, and most of the world knows that uh, that stuff's not going to prevent you from getting COVID, but uh, they're still doing it here in Puerto Rico. Well, there's no way they were going to get COVID. <laughs> We passed through the airport and I noticed everyone was wearing a COVID mask. Um, and then, um, and that's how it's been since we got here. These people are vigilant. I have not seen a single maskless person and we have been here now for three weeks. Yeah, yeah. and where, where they should be masked. I mean, even going back to the airport, we went outside the airport, you know, outside the airport doors and everyone was still wearing a mask. People Even wear masks walking on the beach. Walking on, yep. Women I see walking together for their morning walk on the sidewalk in Lukio are walking with masks on. If we want to go to a restaurant here, we have to show evidence of our vaccinations or a negative test if we're not vaccinated. In fact, we both um, signed up for a program called VacuPass PR, which is a um, vaccination passport program that the government runs where you can just show this app from your phone and it shows it in big green with a barcode to prove that you're vaccinated and in some cases they even take your temperature and you can't go into a restaurant unless you have your temperature taken and your vacu pass PR. And, 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 and in many places you know they require you to uh, hand sanitize your hands. Exactly. And I personally have been uh, chastised at least twice because even though I was still two steps outside the store or the restaurant, I, I did not have my mask on yet. So, uh, you know, they, they, they want you to have your mask on even before you come into the store. I had my mask right in my hand. They're about ready to put it on my face. And they said, stop, and get your mask on now. So That's was, true. In fact, we took a catamaran trip last weekend, <laughs> and we had to wear our masks sitting outside on the pier waiting to get on the catamaran. We had to wear them to get on the catamaran. I think they took our temperatures before we get on the catamaran. No, we had to show our vacuum pass. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then uh, it wasn't until we passed the jetty that everyone then could take their masks off. And the alcohol started flowing. But <laughs> so Bob would say that this is all a little excessive. But to me, yes. it gives me a real feeling of comfort. And when I look at the numbers in Puerto Rico, I feel really good about it because, I, I mean, yes, we have to wear masks and show this evidence of vaccination, and this is to eat outside. We haven't even eaten inside anywhere. We might go inside to order our food, but um, but um, but that's it. So uh, the case right here in Puerto Rico, I mean, it, it had it had a wave just like uh, much much of the U.S. Um, you know, and uh, but now it's now it's back going down to really really lows. There's about a hundred less than 120 cases new cases per day here for a population of about 3 million you know so that that runs out to about uh, three cases per hundred thousand I mean that's super low if my mass right on that so uh, yeah. there's there's very little uh, very little COVID and that's that's also pretty interesting since you know there is a lot of travel a lot of tourism here you know people who have the potential you know to uh, you know, to bring it into the 
bring it into the island. But they're doing they're doing just a just a, a great job of that. Yeah. Um, and actually, yeah. here where we're staying, we're staying in a, a condo complex called Playa Azul. It's 21 floors, and you cannot walk into the complex without a mask on. You can't ride the elevator with more than one person who is not related to you, and you you can take your mask off once you get into your unit, and otherwise you're supposed to be wearing your mask at all times. Mask on. All right, you ready there? Reading about the metaverse, trying to figure out what the heck it is. Good luck on that. So I took the COVID test out of respect for these people who are working so hard and of course because I don't want to give my husband COVID and because uh, Eric, Eric's um, vigilance with COVID tests, Eric takes one every week just to make sure they take it before they go to class every week in England made me realize I need to have the same respect for other people. So I'm really happy to have my little uh, negative COVID test and a, a spare in case I need it for next time. So if you're looking for a place to travel and you're double vaccinated, I can't recommend more that you come to Puerto Rico where you can have a wonderful experience, stay outdoors, and really feel safe. So thank you for watching our messy suitcase video about traveling in the time of COVID, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell to get notified every time we have a new video. Hasta luego. And may your suitcase always be messy.